Okay, now I want to do, I want to set the preferences here in live. So, before we do that, we're going to do these audio preferences. We're going to go to live here. Now, if you're running a PC, you're going to go to options. If you're on a Mac, we're going to use preferences. And here we go. This is our preferences window right here. I'm going to go to audio. I'm setting my audio preferences now. Now, always when you start your computer, of course, you're going to have your interface plugged in. Then you'll start your interface, turn that on, then turn your computer on, and then, of course, watch live. So that's why I want to see it right now. Now, here's this driver type. So it's not selected here. You'll see a list of drivers. So using our core audio for our Mac. Next, I'm going to select device. So I'm going to use my Digizign Inbox 2 there for audio device input. See that? And then for output, we're going to use this device right here. Now, once I set that up, you'll see the other configurations come out here that I can configure. We can do latency, sample rate, and test as well. So, but first, I want to do is I want to go ahead and do input, input configuration. Now, see here, I've got one and two. That's my configuration. See, I'm just going to use one. As a matter of fact, let's use three and four actually. So you'll just see it in the later on in the track. It's good. And next, I want to set the output configuration. So here we go. We've got one and two for output. This means our output that we're using for the output from the hardware. Since I'm using the DigiDesign Mbox 2, so we're going to choose the audio hardware outputs that we're going to make available for live tracks, okay? So every output pair can be used as one stereo out or two mono outs. Okay, so I'm going to press OK for that. And next we're going to do here, this is right, we're going to make sure we're going to go to our in and out sample rate. So we're going to use 44.1. Well, we have several options. We can do 44.1, we can do 48 hertz, we can do 88 or 96. So I'm going to use 44.1 for now since it is CD quality and a consumer rate that's normally used. And we have default sample rate and pitch conversion. Now here, we'll leave it normal. We go highest quality as coarse as possible. But we can always change this later on in the clip. And we'll show this later on in our lessons. Next we have buffer size. That's 512 right there, as you can see. And we see our input latency. It's going to be like 14 milliseconds here and 14.3 milliseconds here as well. What I'm doing next, just observing that, I want to go now to the record warp launch tab. And right here we can select our file type. So AIF, AIFF was made for the Mac and WAVE for PC, but they're both, both ways now. So I prefer to use WAVE, it's pretty standard around the business now. And then we have bit depth. Now for bit depth, to get the best quality for me, I prefer 24. It's going to be more bang for my buck right there. Now I have to account it. If I'm going to do a, I'm going to record something, I want to have a count in here. I want to count, you know, one, two, three, four, then go. So, for a normal, none of the sense, I'm going to go to my, I usually like one bar at least. It makes it easier for me. Okay, we're pretty much set here now. And we are about ready to record and to use the order system in live.